Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm HM26 and welcome back to another Modern House tutorial. This is the house we are going to be building today. The house's size is 13 blocks long on the left, 9 blocks long on the bottom left, 8 blocks long on the top right, and 19 blocks long on the top. To start off, we will add two three block high columns of brick on the front of the house. And we'll add some brick slabs two blocks above the ground. This is where the doors are going to be. Now let's add a white concrete border along the outline of the house. Next to the entrance of the house we will add a two block high column of birch planks like this and a slab and in here we'll add a light blue stained glass pane for a window. Now on this block here we'll add another two block high birch planks column and we'll add some slabs along the outline. Now let's add in the stained glass for the windows. Now on this block, right in the corner, we'll add a two block high column of white concrete and we'll add some more birch planks and windows along this side. Now back on the other side of the house, we'll add another column of white concrete and we'll remove this block here and the one three blocks to the left we'll fill this in with columns of stone bricks. And above we'll add some slabs like this, and inside we'll add windows. Now the rest of this wall will just be filled with white concrete. Now along this side we'll keep adding more white concrete, but until this wall on this side is four blocks long, we'll add a column of stone bricks. We'll move the bottom block, so that'll be three blocks high. And here, in line with the other corner of the house, we'll add another column, and we'll add some slabs, and more windows inside. Now in line with the stone brick slabs, we'll add a row of birch plank slabs along the outline. After we've added four slabs, we'll add a column of birch planks, and the rest of this wall will be filled with white concrete. And we'll also remember to fill this part in with more windows. Now on this side of the house, we'll remove these two blocks and we'll add two three block high columns of stone bricks. Add a window in like this and a slab above it. Next to it, we will add two birch plank slabs and a column of birch planks and more windows inside. And this part of the wall can be filled just with white concrete. On the bottom left corner of the house, replace the ground with birch planks. The rest of the floor can be filled with stripped birch wood. Now let's go to this corner of the house. We'll add three slabs next to that stone brick column and three full birch blocks in front of it and another row as well and just keep building up every two blocks. Now let's add some birch slabs in front of each row of blocks. On the right side of the stairs we'll add a slab on every second block. And for a stair rail we can use birch fences.
Now let's add another white concrete border along the outline of the house. Now let's add in the second floor. The bottom part can be filled with birch planks. Remember to leave a gap for the stairs. And this part can be filled with stripped birch wood. And outside the gap for the stairs, we'll add a glass rail. Now let's add another white concrete border along the house's outline. On each corner of the house, we'll add a three block high column of white concrete. Directly above the column below, we'll add a column of stone bricks and another one right on the side. And in between, we will add four stone brick slabs and fill this in with windows. And above it, we will add a row of white concrete. On this side, we'll add a column of birch planks and fill the rest of this in with birch slabs. And we'll add in the windows now. and we'll add another row of white concrete above it. Now in line with the columns below, we'll add two columns of stone bricks and more slabs and windows in between. Now above it, we will add another row of white concrete. The rest of this wall will be filled with more white concrete as well. On this wall we will add three columns of stripped spruce wood. Now let's fill in this wall with white concrete. Leave a two block gap in the middle, we will fill this in with two blocks of ice, which we will use for bathroom windows. Now let's add another row of stripped spruce wood on each side of this wall. This wall will be filled just with white concrete. Now let's add a window here, so we'll add a column of stone bricks and another one, both in line with the ones below, and some more slabs and stained glass in between. Above it we will add a row of white concrete. Now from here we will add a row of birch plank slabs and on the side here we will add a column of birch planks. Now let's add in the stained glass. Directly above it we will add a row of white concrete. On this side of the wall we'll add a column of birch planks and another one here in line with the column below and we'll add some more slabs and stained glass in between these columns. Now let's add another row of white concrete above the window, and the rest of this wall can be filled with more white concrete as well.
Now let's go over to this side of the house. I almost forgot about this. We'll add three more columns of strip spruce wood. On top we will add a roof made of just white concrete. At the front of the house we will dig seven blocks out like this and we'll keep digging straight across until we are in line with the other side of the house and we'll dig straight forward about here. Now let's dig out the rest of the ground within this area. Now let's add a row of white concrete here and we'll keep adding this along the outline of the house. Now let's remove these two blocks, replace them with bricks and we'll add a brick path outside the doorway. On this side we will add a six block long row of grass and we'll do the same thing on this side as well. Now in the middle we will actually leave a two block gap. Now on the grass we will add a row of leaves. Now we'll add another grass block about here Another one as well and we'll add more leaves on those as well another one there and more leaves on top the rest of the ground can be filled with stripped birch wood The rest of this area can be filled just with white concrete, but we'll leave a 6x5 block hole in the center. In this hole, we will replace the dirt with white concrete. Now let's fill it up with water to make a small pool. Now let's add a seat next to the doorway. Just place these birch stairs like this. And two strip spruce wood blocks with leaves on top. Place some trapdoors on the wood blocks like this. Now let's add in the doors, and on each side we will add some torches, and we will do the same thing inside as well. In front of the doors, we will add a long white carpet.
we will add some lights outside the pool using end rods and trap doors. Just add three, one for each column. In between we will add two seats using birch stairs. Now let's add some lights inside. We will use end rods for these. Just make them three blocks high. You can have them in any corner you want. This room is where the kitchen is going to be. So to start off we can add three columns of quartz blocks and in between we can add some chests to make pull out drawers. Now let's start adding in the main part of the kitchen. We'll start off by adding a quartz block here with a flower pot on top. And here we will add some cauldrons for sinks and we'll place some tripwire hooks to look like taps. Add two more quartz blocks there, both with flower pots on top. And here we will add two furnaces and another quartz block next to it. Above each furnace we can use quartz blocks and redstone lamps and iron trapdoors to make exhaust fans. Over in this corner we will add a dinner table. We can use birch stairs for seats. And for a table we will use birch fences. And in the middle like this we will add some quartz slabs. For the rest of the table we will put some pressure plates on the fences. Now let's add two flower pots in the middle. Now on each side of the door we will add a grass block on the ground and on top we will add some leaves. On each side of the row of leaves we will add some trapdoors. Now let's go upstairs. In this corner we will add some end rods for light. And over in this corner we can add a bed. We'll use six white wool blocks and a light grey carpet for a pillow and two quartz slabs in front. And a few bookshelves over there as well. To make a bedside table, we'll add an upside down birch stair and another one next to it like this. And to make a realistic looking lamp, we'll add a dragon egg on the bedside table with a white wool block on top and a flower pot next to it. Now let's add some more end rods on the top of the stairs. Now to make a TV we can add three blocks of black concrete with some bookshelves on either side. Place some quartz slabs on top and some below. And to make a seat we can use more birch stairs. Make sure this one here is facing that way. Same with this side as well. There we go. Now on the right we will add a bathroom, so we'll add a wall of quartz blocks. To make a toilet we'll start by placing a quartz block and a button on it. And underneath, we'll just add a block there for now an upside down quartz stair and we'll add one under here as well because it's not quite right we just have to make it like this there we go place two quartz slabs on the roof in that pattern and we'll add a dispenser on the roof 
and on the ground we'll add a quartz block and around it we'll add some pressure plates. We'll also add some shelves on this wall. Now we're actually going to make a working shower, so place a water bucket inside the dispenser and a button below it and you can flick the button and water starts coming out. So it's a working shower and then you can press the button and the water stops coming out, so that's a really good way to make a shower. Just place some cauldrons there and tripwire hooks on top to make a sink and taps. Above the toilet we will add a sea lantern for light. Now let's add a door here. And there we are guys, well done, we've completed our modern house. Let's go inside and take a look at what we've built. So guys, that is all for now. Now remember, if you would like to see more videos just like this, then make sure you subscribe to my channel. Anyway, have a great day guys, and I'll see you in the next video.